السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Dear respected brothers and sisters, as we are fasting, one crucial thing to remember is that we should not make this a habit. So some people when they go into Salah, they start to make it a habit where they're doing their positions, but they're not really thinking about Allah Azza wa Jal. Their mind needs to have a switch switched on so that a person actually thinks of Allah Azza wa Jal in prayer, and that makes it meaningful. The same can be said about fasting. If a person goes throughout the whole of the day just thinking that I'm just waiting for iftar time, I'm passing time, I can't eat, I can't drink, then that's it. That's all the person will get. But if a person uses that time to switch the mind on to think, Allah is watching me, Allah is watching me, Allah is watching me, I can't eat, I can't drink, Allah is watching me, therefore I'm not going to sin. And that will make the person a believer who will gain taqwa by the end of Ramadan. It just takes a moment to think again and again that the whole reason why I'm doing it is not because of emotionary thing or a habit. It's because Allah Azza wa Jal is the one who told me to do it. He's watching me do it. And when I break my iftar, he's going to be the one who will give me the reward. And what reward is that? Allah Azza wa Jal has said he is the reward. Why is that? Because every single other act of deed that you do, another person can actually see you do it. But fasting from dawn till dusk, till the end, there's only one supervisor in the whole of existence who knows that you actually fasted without eating anything. Who's that? That is Allah. That is why at the time of iftar, He is your reward. He is the reward in the Akhirah. So my brother and my sister, throughout the day of fasting, just think, Allah is watching me, Allah is watching me. And that is a great dhikr and remembrance of Allah. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.